Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 42, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Oh, wait, no, that's a different 42. And we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. And if you're watching the last episode, we finished up the last of the magic doors and whatnot on our way to pick up the Epoch. It is a machine that will allow us to uh, fly to whatever era we want. Nice thing is, it will also let us, well fly so um with that said and done i gotta decide what my party is going to be i know i want ayla in it because there's a number of beasties with some really good stuff worth um charming so the question is is who do i have in that other role uh, I'm, I'm torn between marley frog and robo marley's got some of the best heals available uh, Frog's got a better balance between the two, and Robo's got a little bit better attack than Heal. So, I'm actually, you know, let's go ahead and let's let's bring Frog into this, and uh, and let us board the Epoch, and we'll take off, and we will head to Antiquity. <laughs> it was called the Dark Ages, if I remember right. Um, in the original game. It's one of those little changes that I noticed. Alright, let's head to Antiquity. Alright, gotta do the prerequisite fist bump. Oh. We're not flying. Interesting. Uh, was this the cave? Nope, that's where the time gate was. And we want to find the Terra Cave. There we go. Hey, the ladder's down now. Wonder what's changed. This is El Geti, the village of the Earthbound. We Earthbound ones were banished from Zeal because we are possessed of no magical talents. Aww. No, there's no more that way. What's in here? Besides the sad face. Might I interest you in some goods? Why, yes. Ooh. Oh, no, that's the sword I've already got. Ooh, that is an upgrade. I don't recall... I don't recall her getting anything new anytime soon. Although, to be honest, we're... I, I guess we're okay on cash. We've only got a million. So... I'll be careful with it. Alright, we'll get the Comet Bow. We'll get the Mega Blaster and the Megaton Arm. And the Radiant Blade is actually better than the Mazamoon. Hmm. Alright. That's right, and we were still looking at the difference between the Luminous Robes, the Radiant Plate... And the helms. This is a better price than we were getting in Medina Village from uh, Home Skillet over there. And the Radiant Helms are a downer for just about everybody. So, what was the armor that these guys have? And do I want to go ahead and swap it out? I seem to recall there was a reason why I didn't do that beyond the price. So let's first equip. Uh, he's already got that. The Aeonian Suit... That's just a straight-up defense of 75. All right, so let's bump up to the Radiant Blade. And the Mezzo Mail. No, that's just straight up. Okay. Mezzo Mail, straight up. Let's bump that up to the Comet Bow. And the Mist Robe, just a straight-up defense. And we'll upgrade that to the Mega Blaster. And the Megaton Arm. Alright, so the only one that actually seems to have a bonus is Robo. And that's the Dark Mail gives him a magic defense of plus... Plus five. Alright, so... Let's sell off some of the equipment we don't need. Oh, I've already got one Luminous Robe, so I'd really just need to buy two more if that's what he's got. Oh. The vests suck as far as the armor rating goes. 
The only reason why, why you would keep those would be for the um, absorption or to sell. Although the plate is still good on the damage. Alright, I'll hang on to those for the moment. Um, oh, the Guardian Helm, that was the special one that I got. I can get rid of the Stone Helm. I can get rid of the Magma Hand. And the Dreamstone Gun. And the Dreamstone Bow. Hang on to the Capsules. Still only five? Oh, no, 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 five gold. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, really? All right, let's go buy. So we've got everybody's best weapon. I've got one luminous robe. I really ought to go ahead and buy two more then. And get the ladies upgraded. The radiant plate is good for two of them. So let me go ahead and get two of those. And the helmet was a no-go for everybody. Okay, so let's go to equipment. That's right. And he needs the radiant plate. And she needs the luminous robes. And the luminous robe. And the luminous robe. And he gets the radiant plate. And we do one more round of selling. The Guardian Helm was the one I wanted to keep. I gotta figure out who's gonna best benefit from it. You know what, as much as I'd love to have two sets of armor with immunity, the defense on that vest is just, ah, uh, that's horrible. All right. No, I'll hang on to it. I'll hang on to it. Blue, red, white, black, red, black, white. The dark male can go. The mezzo male can definitely go. And the mist robe can definitely go. All right, so that should get us squared away for the moment as far as that stuff goes. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace and none were ever seen again. Hmm. What else we got in this quaint little town? The Queen has installed the Mammon Machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos's energy. But is there not peril in such a thing? The Guru of Life said as much, but only it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there's little we can do. A woe is him? <laughs> the Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus possessed power within him exceeding even that of Lady Sala. But then the Queen lost her mind, and the young Lord grew to hate that power, and all the suffering it caused Lady Sala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. Hmm. Interesting. When will Wadey Shala come and play with us again? <laughs> Aww. The three gurus and Lady Shala are near the only ones who do not treat us as inferior. That's good. That says something. The mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't play around there. <laughs> Guess where we're going. Would you like to rest here for the night? Nope. Because we should still be good from our last trip to the end of time. We didn't take any damage or burn some magic, so... In times past, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. Interesting. And last we go. This tunnel connects to a mud beast den, and beyond the, ma the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The guru of life voiced opposition to the queen's plan, and so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Alright, let's go ahead and get one more save in. And let's go find this uh, guru on the mountain.
Nice. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Um... Anybody in the current party? No, not the speed. Strength? No, not strength on this go round. But magic. Yes, if we can get Ayla's magic up a little bit more, it'll start costing her less to use the spells. Um, so let's go ahead and get her up to 15. And I think Robo, I wanted to dump one. No, nah, well, I want to dump one more in Crow now because he's the hero. Um, I won't worry about the speed and strength when I can change up the party like I can right now. So I think Luca had a speed problem and Robo had a speed problem. That that sounds kind of wrong. Yeah, 8 and 11. Uh, 9, 10. Alright, not as bad. Well, I mean, I could bump up Luca's strength, but seriously, it doesn't... She doesn't... Nothing goes off of strength, so... We'll get Chrono up to 60, and we'll get Frog back in, and Ayla back in. And get Frog up one more. There we go. And we'll do one more save since we made all those changes. There we go. Now let's go find the guru on the mountain of woe. Uh-oh. Hello, beastie. All right, first things first, I want to charm the beast on the right. And I'll attack for the moment. And the mud beast gave her a rainbow helm. Sweet. Okay. And I want to charm the one on the left. And he's going to give a rainbow helm. Sweet. And actually, now that that's done, let's go ahead and... Let's get these guys to uh, ride the lightning. I'm going to start throwing in some regular attacks because you can only charm one helm a piece. And these guys should be near death. Should be. There we go. Alright, 480 XP, 10 tech points, 900 gold. Alright, nothing up that way. False fork. And this means we can get two more rainbow helms, so we'll charm that guy and attack him. And attack him. And he's gonna give us a rainbow helm. Sweet. And then we're gonna go ahead and charm the guy on the top. Then we'll get these guys to, um, well, they don't have a, um, dual tech that hits everybody. Interesting. I forgot about that. Maybe I should have grabbed Robo. Because then at least we'd have guys that, uh, hit everything. Finish him. There we go. All right, got to do something about that health. Tex. Mm, he's got more, so... Oh, that's to everybody. Does everybody need... Yeah, everybody needs a little something anyway. And then slurp to bring that up. There we go. Onward and forward. All right. 
Now we got one more. Oh, doggone it. I knew I should have brought Luca too. Because one of these guys is vulnerable to uh, fire. <laughs> All right, first things first. We'll get her to Charming from the blue guy. And then... Frenzy. And we'll drop that water over there. Oh, no, that's right. He's immune. I got it backwards. All right. Charm from the red guy real quick. And then we'll have these guys do a sword stream on the red guy. I didn't even see if that was successful. I'm assuming it was. Bam. Well, that's not fair. You get two attacks. All right, and we'll charm from that guy. There we go. We got a speed capsule. Always nice. And then we'll start tossing some uh, higher level magic out. No, oh, never mind. That didn't do as much. Interesting. Alright, we'll go... Sword stream on him. Tailspin on him. guy's got about 5,000, uh... Come on, Chrono. Get your act together. Ooh. Gonna have to do a heal at some point, too. Nope, 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 nope. Not the frog swash. There we go. Yeah, I'm doing this the hard way. I know, I know. Um, there we go. And we'll do a frenzy. There we go. Everybody's back up. I'll need to use a shelter when I next get to the map. Oh, I thought that would have done more. I really need fire magic on this guy. I, I guess I should have brought Robo instead of Frog. Uh, let's see. Let's do a Falcon Strike. And an Aerial Strike. We're doubling up on the combos now. Because we've charmed everything we can out of these guys. Probably should take care of that imp too. Although he's not healing nearly as much as uh, everything else. So we should be okay. And it looks, I see the chain in the background. So he's going to be the last guy. Last guy we got to get through. Come on, Chrono. Get your act in the game. Come on. Kill him. Kill him quicker. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is definitely the hard way. Easy way would have been remembered to bring a little different elemental power with me. All right. He's gone. These guys have a triple tech. No, they don't. All right. Let's just start throwing whoever's ready at him. I gotta remember to get Ayla's magic points up, too. Maybe I should give her the stud. No, nah, because I want the charm topper. Alright, let's, um... I think he should be vulnerable to lightning. 
want to end this quick, so let's start dropping the top level magic. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. Gone. There we go. 954 XP, always nice. 26 tech point, that'll be good. 2600 gold, also nice. Ayla's level went up. Even better. Uh oh. Up to the mountain we go. And. Oh, I don't see. Uh... I don't see a spot to recover magic. Hmm. Alright, uh, I should still have a bunch of the, uh, yeah, the cheap ethers. Let me go ahead and use those up since they're not going to be useless, or useful in combat. Yeah, that'll be better. There we go. That gets everybody relatively close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And while I'm at it. The cheap potions. Since I still have a bunch of those left over. Alright, close enough. And what do we have here? Besides some fights. Disables tech and commands. Oh, I can't charm anything off him. Doggone it, I was expecting to be able to charm something. Oh well, fast enough. 1000 XP, always nice. 100 tech points, oh yeah. This is this is what I needed to get, Ayla. I wish I had the map up now. Alright, um... Oh, that's right. I want to try to charm. Let me see if this is successful. See if it's worth doing on the other guy. <laughs> Enemy has nothing to give but gratitude. <laughs> okay. That's all I needed to know. Zap him. Make it hurt. Gone. Oh, not gone. There we go. Alright, Chrono's level's up. Also nice. Um, I want to get to that box first. Should be an imp I can get. Let me try that. Oh no, this is stone imp. Nothing but gratitude. Not for long. Okay. Some XP, tech points, gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> All right, and that should yep. And he's gonna do that omni lock thing, right? Yep. Disables tech and commands. Seriously, you get, oh come on, guys! You got nothing but misses. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Finish him. Make it hurt. 1000 XP, 100 tech points, and a mid ether. What does Ayla need to get her next tech anyway? Uh, Dino Tail is another 216 tech points away, so two and a bit of those guys. 
makes grinding them worth it. Ooh, a platinum helmet. I'll have to check on that in a little bit too. Alright, now we can head back this way. And go up to the next level. Um, all right, trying to double check. Oh yeah, there's a lot more to Mount Woe. So, with the time being what it is, I am going to leave you in Meteoras and head to the credits and say... Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Mixer or Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch the live stream, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content gets posted. So live, folks. Yeah, I still got two more episodes to record on the live stream, so hang tight. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.